Shane, and today we're going to take a look at air cars. <laughs> this car is a good example of Newton's third law of motion, action-reaction. The pressurized air moves out of the bottle in one direction, forcing the bottle in the opposite direction. Now the basic component starts with a 2-liter soda bottle, a portable air pump, and a needle for inflating small balls and so forth. The one other piece needed is some type of lightweight car to hold the bottle. In this case, I've made it out of styrofoam, wood, and plastic wheels. I have rubber bands to hold it in place. Stretch this over the top and hook it on the other side. Now I'll add the second one. And this holds the bottle very securely in place. Turn it around here. And it must move very easily back and forth, otherwise it won't go very far. Into the cap of the bottle, I've drilled a 1 16th inch hole right there. And I'm going to take the needle inflator and insert that into the end of the pump. And when I pull this lever, that's going to hold it and make it airtight. And then I'm simply going to insert that very snugly into that hole that's in the cap of the bottle. Now, I did find this pump to fall over very easily when I was stepping down on it. So we did make a wider base for it. That makes it a little bit more stable. Now, let's give it a try. It'll take about 30 steps to get that up to about 40 to 60 PSI. And once I get it to that range, I'll simply pull that valve out of the bottle and off it goes. Now it's quite easy to use this needle directly attached to the pump, goes into the cap, pump it up, and when you're ready you simply pull it out. But I decided to make another mechanism that would make it a little bit easier for younger students to try this also. Once again it's using a needle valve inflator and that goes into the cap of the bottle. And to release it, simply pull on the lever and off it goes. I'll take it apart here so we can see a little bit more clearly. This is a piece of rubber tubing. There's our needle. The lever is hooked up to a piece of plastic that bends. Let me pull this tube out here. There we go. And there is our needle inflator hooked up to a long plastic tube. On the opposite end I have another valve which is simply cut off an old bicycle tire and that attaches to the pump. Well, there it is, our compressed air car, definitely a device that needs to be done on a smooth surface indoors. Now, in a future episode, we're going to take a look at this piece, which is a combination of water and air, definitely something we have to try outside. Ready? Pull it. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, down a little bit. All right, go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Come back and see me again. Okay, bye.